Egypt and the cockpit voice recorder from the Egypt airplane that crashed last month has been found in the Mediterranean. That's according to Egyptian investigators. The black box has now been retrieved from the water, but it was damaged. A search vessel has been inspecting the crash site. Flight MS-804 was traveling from Paris to Cairo when it went down. All 66 people on board were killed. Investigators say the memory unit of the black box is still intact and has been recovered. It's considered the most important piece that will will shed light on why the plane crashed. The flight recorder will be studied in the Egyptian port city of Alexandria. Let's get more now from CCTV's Adel Mahri. He's been following that story for us and joins us live from Cairo. Adel, first off, the black box has been found. What's the latest on its return to Alexandria? Well, basically, it's one of two black boxes. Basically, there are two recorders on board of the flight, the data flight recorder, the flight data recorder, and the cockpit voice recorder. What they have found is the cockpit voice recorder, which records all the communications, the discussions that um, comes out from the cockpit, and the orders or the um, talks between the pilot and his co-pilot. As you said, it was quite destroyed, which some experts say this might be an indication in itself, because usually it is in a very strong, uh, hard um, uh, aluminium um, stainless steel case, which should protect it even if it crashes. So it is quite an indication itself to what may have happened um, of maybe an external factor or something, depending on how the shape uh, of the black box has been found um, th they found it at. As you said, there were many pieces now. It is still not clear whether the memory unit, um, will they be able to extract uh, all the information from it or partial of it. But what most are people, especially those in the investigation team, are looking for are the last minutes between um, before the plane crashed to hear exactly what happened inside the cockpit if the pilot tried to send any distress call but maybe have failed to what did he order his co-pilot to do this might give an indication exactly about what happened in the last minutes as you've said it's on its way to alexandria city where experts will be trying to um, deal with this memory unit and install it to another device so that they would extract the information from it so how concerned are investigators about the damage done to that flight recorder well they are quite concerned in a sense because it's abnormal. Um, as I told you, um, the black box is in a very, it's in a hard case stainless steel um, sh uh, shell or a, or a protector that it has another coating of heat isolator, uh, which protects it from fire or um, severe cold uh, weather. Basically, if a plane breaks down up, um, as we know, in about 37,000 feet up high, the temperature there is minus 56 degrees in average. So it should protect it from these conditions. And if it crashes on land, um, usually they find the black box intact. So finding it broken, uh, of course, there are the concerns about uh, will they be able to extract the data from it or not, but also it might be an indication about what happened. Why is the black box, uh, or one of them at least, has been broken? This is another question that has been raised uh, with um, this finding. But hopefully, if they can find the flight data recorder, this will be another um, breakthrough in the investigation because it will tell them exactly, it will have the recordings of the flight information uh, and or errors um, reported from the plane's electronic and mechanical systems. So this is just one piece of a big puzzle. And if they get an information uh, from the last minutes of the cockpit, they might be of use and may not be uh, of any. So it's still uh, a long way ahead for the investigation team to put their hands on a concrete um, a reason for the plane crash. All right, Adel Mahri, live for us in Cairo. Thank you, Adel.